Welcome, welcome to the Rick Helps Real Estate Show, trying once again to make sense of this crazy Arizona real estate market. And today we're going to talk about second week of January going into 2024. Now, why is that important? Well, usually, usually we get more listings in January than we do any time of year. But right now that doesn't seem to be the case. I'm going to show you this chart right here. And you can see that the past couple of years, um, nothing has showed up in January. So we're optimistic that we're going to have more listings show up at the first of the year. Right now we're sitting at 13,701 and it has that same seasonal downturn that we have every year. What remains to be seen is whether or not we're going to grow. And you can see last year wasn't a whole lot going out there as far as new listings showing up. So new listings are going to have to show up in order for prices to, uh, Right now, they're still going up, so sales are going to follow them a little bit as the new listings come on, but it's the gap between the two that we're unclear of. So we have to let the months of November, December shake out and because uh, those numbers don't mean anything. It's hard to pick up any trends. The only trends that we're seeing right now are in mortgage rates at 6.67%. Will that change? That's hard to tell. We're going to have a couple CPI readings coming along that will tell us uh, the direction of the Fed. Now, remember, the Fed hasn't changed anything. They just did what's called Fed speak. They said, well, the numbers are looking good. Inflation's getting better. And the dot plot that they have where everybody puts down when they think they're going to raise or lower rates indicated a minimum of three rate cuts next year. Now, that dot plot hasn't been accurate for years. So They've said before that they were going to raise rates and they didn't, and they're going to lower rates and they didn't. So, the market kind of has to take that with a grain of salt. Right now, they're pretty confident that they are going to lower rates. So that's why mortgage rates have gone down. The market is always pricing things out three to six months ahead of time. So right now, mortgage rates, like I say, are 6.67%. It's looking more likely it's probably going to stay that way through January and February. Uh, unless we see some earth shattering, wow, look at how good inflation is numbers coming up. But for now, there are some things that we want to watch to see if we can get an indication of where the market's going. This is the Cromford Market Index right here, sitting here in total of 105.1, and you can see that's low. Now, for those of you that are new here that don't understand the Cromford Market Report, they've been around for 20 years, and they're a great guide for realtors in that they pull the data from our multiple listing service, and they just compile all kinds of research and charts and graphs and and uh, they come up with this index. And the index is a measurement between supply and demand. Now, they've been pretty accurate for 20 years. Um, if they say the market's softening, it it start, it softens. Now, they don't predict out a year ahead of time. They're not going to do that. But they do point out there are some trends that you need to watch. And if you're pricing homes, you want to know, or does it look like homes are going to go up this month? They're going to go down. So it's very helpful for us as agents. And what we're seeing here is we need to watch the inventory first and foremost. Then we need to see if sales start to follow. If inventory starts to climb, we're sitting here at dismally low numbers right now, showing a seven day moving average here. You can see that uh, we're down to, oh, 1,500 homes uh, and only 1,600 homes listed, new listings. So pretty, pretty low. So I expect that to climb up, but this is listings under contract. So we're the brown line right here right now. So it's been steadily coming down since week 17 and it came down quite a bit in 2022 and bounced around up in 2021. So that's something we're going to want to follow. If listings come up and sales start to go with it, um, it it'll tell you that there's no downward pricing pressure. Right now, real estate prices are going up, believe it or not, especially in Chandler. Look at this. Their CMI, their Cromford Market Index, is 166.3. A balanced market is anything around one. Any A seller's market is anything above 110. They're clearly above 110. The people that are in the buyer's market are down here, Queen, Queen Creek, Buckeye, and Maricopa, and Cave Creek, believe it or not. And the rest of these are what we would call balanced up to here. And this is all seller's market, meaning it's easier for sellers than it is for buyers. And that's where we're at today. We'll watch that and see this gets updated every week. 
And this is the other thing I like to look at is, if it loads here for me, new listings by day, month to date. Now, I track it on a seven-day moving average, but uh, I'm also going to share this with you. This each month here is December. This year, last year, the year before, you can see that our new listings were 3407. Last year, they were 3942. So you can see we've been steadily going down on new listings. So will this move? It'll show up on this chart and the, the different colors are the days. So this will show up. If we're getting more new contracts, um, more new listings, it'll show up here. We'll be able to compare it to last year. So I'm going to want to follow that. This one only updates once a month. Now, right here, it has not crossed yet. In other words, the Cromford Supply Index and the Cromford um, um, Sales Index have met, but they haven't crossed. Now, I suspect, based on what I've seen, that they're still going to be right touching each other, that they're not going to cross when the numbers come out next week. I think it's still going to stay there. Why is it a big deal when they cross? Well, if you get inventory that's higher than sales, prices come down. Um, you can see that that happened last year. When rates doubled, things just went screwy in a hurry. Listings went way up. Sales went way down. Prices dropped. You can see back in 2008, listings took way off. Got up to something like, oh, I want to say 58,000 homes on the market. And there was nobody out there buying them because they all had bad loans and they gave them up. So those are the numbers that really in a quick snapshot that you need to watch for. Um, as far as prognosticating about what, what next year is going to be in total, um, knock yourself out. I mean, nobody really, really knows. People pretend they know. They tell you it's going to be great or it's going to crash. This is my third year in a row telling you it's going to crash. Trust me this time. And even Fannie Mae comes out and this is their forecast. Home sales Mortgage origination is likely to begin slow recovery in 2024, even though they expect the economy to deaccelerate after su being surprisingly resilient this year. In other words, um, it's finally going to slow down out there, folks, but not in real estate. Because whenever we get bad numbers in the economy, in other words, we start sniffing a recession, central bank comes along and uh, lowers rates to try and re stimulate the economy again. It's a constant tug and pull. And we expect some of that to go on this year. But look, nobody knows. So it's always best to look out a month or two. And if you're buying for an investment and you're hoping to buy this year and sell next year, that really, you're just going to have to be a good flipper. You're going to have to know your numbers. If you're just a regular old person looking to buy a house and you're not staying there at least five years, then, uh, you're going to have to be pretty confident in what you're doing. If I see way too many people, I bought my house two years ago and now I can't get out from underneath it. Well, yeah, um, the fees alone will eat you up, any equity that you have. So, you know, you got to grow at least 7% just to break even when it comes to commissions and closing costs. So be careful. Um, if you are planning on buying, if, if people call me and say, I want to buy some, sell it in two years, my advice is don't. Um, so, you know, be careful. If you're planning on staying there 10 years, just don't even look at it. Pretend it's your 401k. Just, just put it off in the background. You can check it later because every month you're paying down the balance. Now, if you're trying to sell, so far, January doesn't look like it's going to be too bad because I don't see anything that's going to flood the market with a bunch of listings. So I, we have seen surveys that said 70% of potential buyers are waiting for rates to go to 5.5%. Is that on the radar for 2024? Who knows? You'll just have to continue watching the rates, see where they're going. I know I've lost a dollar from time to time betting Pat on where rates are going, so I'm not going to stick my neck out again. <laughs> I'll, I'm confident that rates in January and February are going to stay right where they're at now. I don't see anything that says, here we go, they're going to go down even further. So stay tuned. Do me a favor. Smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, why not? Take care.